All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, as I said in the last one, I'm going to be installing that radio into the Accord. Um, I currently just got done working on the Mazda for at least a couple hours, so I'm pretty dirty. Uh, didn't quite get the axle done, but it's I got a rental tool tonight, and I'm going to wait till Antoine's here to help me out a little bit. I just really didn't feel like doing it. I hate doing axles. They're just so dirty. Um, but I just went up and picked up literally some little cheap garbage ass wire crimper. Eventually I'm gonna upgrade to a better one because this one's just terrible. Um, and we're gonna start getting this radio out and getting that touchscreen in. Funny enough, this you know, it's actually broken. Um, yeah, get this out so that you know I can at least have somewhat decent of a sound system. Um, so. I guess I'll document as best I can. I don't really know what I'm doing entirely. I'm assuming, yeah, some screws down here. So it's it's a 90s Honda. I'm pretty sure it's not too hard to figure out. Uh, so I guess we'll just go along through this together. I'll just fly blind for a minute. So I'll see you guys once I have this front panel off. Deuces. Okay, guys, so it's about two seconds later. I realized I like actually felt in here. Uh, I don't think there are any screws in there. Somebody must have had this off before. So I think I can just... Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, so there were no screws holding it in in the first place. So we'll just pull it back. Uh, I'm assuming there's some yeah, wires back here. Unclip those. Yeah, like I said, 90 sounder. It's all pretty simple. I'm already figuring out what I'm doing. Let's see if I can unplug this on camera. Oh my nail is long okay i'm gonna need two hands just so i can you know manage this and get my thumb in there and unclip it so see you guys in a second once i have this front panel like completely removed all right guys so looking at it honestly you can if you're doing this yourself you can leave that panel and if you want these wires have enough slack to where you just pick it up these wires have enough slack to where you just pick it up and you can get to the screws um for the fact that i'm recording and sometimes I only have one hand available, and the fact that I just I don't like having things in my way while I work. Get as much stuff out of your way as possible. Uh, it looks like it's just four screws to remove. There, 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 and right there. Uh, then this old garbage radio comes out, and then I'll walk upstairs and go grab the radio and the installation panel. Um, and really show you guys how the radio looks and all that. Show the kit to install it and... Uh, at the end, I'll let you know pretty much how much this whole sound system cost me, including the really cheap door speakers I have, and show that you can have some pretty decent audio for, you know, pretty cheap. You don't have to go crazy with it, uh, especially on a car like this, where it's just a automatic daily driver Accord. This will never be a race car, um, at least I don't think. I hope I kind of I hope I could turn it into a race car because you know it's race car everything. But then I hope I don't because it's just more money I have to spend. But you know, now cars are. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this radio out of here and then I'll head upstairs and grab the new one. Back from my journey and this is the radio I went with, as you saw for just a short moment in my other video. Also, yeah, my car's dirty, but. I'm going to crack into it a little bit, show you guys what comes in the box with one of these, you know, cheaper radios. I did look at it to make sure, you know, the mounting kit worked out, but I put it back as OEM, or as, you know, as you get it as possible. So, here's the mounting brackets. It does come with two other styles, but for the mounting kit for the Accord, these are the ones you need. Um, and they do come with, like, protective film on them, actually, so they're actually pretty nice. Uh, USBs, you get dual USB microphone you know your standard stuff uh, i believe this one's wi-fi antenna gps they also come with double stick tape so you're supposed to like stick them to your windshield i don't know if i'm going to do that on mine uh, obviously your wiring harness which goes with i think i have it in my pocket for whatever reason you attach to your other end of your harness so i gotta wire these together y'all can go down there Keep cracking on, instruction manual, and you know, quick start guide, all that. A little front face plate, and then underneath all that is 
the radio. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, link in the description. Uh, you'd have already seen a picture of the radio. You see, I've already been touching it and stuff. Let's see. Hello. It's my Instagram picture. Um, decent looking little head unit. I like that they're shallow, so I may end up getting one of these for the dart. If all goes well, it like the reflection keeps making my focus act up. Um, if this head unit actually turns out to be pretty good, I'm going to end up getting one for the dart because on the dart, uh, once you take it off, there's like a metal brace here and like some plastic molding up here. And usually you have to cut all that and break it off for um, radios because they're, you know, generally pretty thick. But this one's very shallow. Uh, it comes with a cooling fan, so anyone who lives in hot climates like I do, you don't have to worry about um, this thing overheating and shutting off. I've heard some people have problems with that on some of these, you know, Android-based head units. I believe this one's Android. Um, see, antenna, which I think the plug, yeah. So, antenna's not going to work for me, I don't think, because this has, like, a really small plug, but... I don't care who uses radio when you have Bluetooth. Um, Pre-done plug, so there's Wi-Fi, there's GPS, and then the connectors themselves are different color-coded. So here's the Wi-Fi plug. has a blue plug on it. Uh, what else you got? Microphone, uh, IR. Then you have things like sub. Everything is labeled, so... Uh, you have audio in, AV, or video in, so AV, uh, there's your USB connection up there. So, so far, pretty decent unit for under 200 bucks, I believe. Um, I'll get, like I said, I'll get exact pricing later on, so I'm just going to start by wiring the two harnesses together and doing the boring part. Obviously, I'm not going to show you guys that. Uh, have a feeling if you can install a head unit, you probably know how to do the basic wiring. It's mostly matching colors. Sometimes between your stock radio and your aftermarket, they'll switch colors around. But most every like radio I've done, I've done like two or three, they tend to share a lot of the exact same colors go to the same thing. There seems to be a standard that uh, OEMs and aftermarkets just kind of follow and very occasionally stray from. So this shouldn't be too hard. I do have all of this is labeled and then I just have to load up the factory diagram. So you just match it to it. Shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, I will see you guys once I get done with the boring part of stuff. All right, everyone, so uh, I got the car running just to charge up the battery because I did have to charge my phone. It's actually plugged in right now. Uh, while doing this wiring harness, I didn't want my battery to die, but I believe I got the harness completed. Here's some like backup camera, amp, turn on things, stuff like that. Uh, and here's her steering wheel controls. So I guess it's time to plug everything in and test if it's working. I'm actually gonna turn off the car for that just in case anything happens. Uh, let's see. Um, don't really have somewhere to set down my phone, so... I guess y'all can just look at me while I do this. Alright, put that in. So far, so good. Nothing's turning on when it shouldn't be. Oh, the fan is already on. I'm gonna flick the key on. There we go. So we do have it powering up. All right. Um, don't really have something to play. Maybe it comes with something like preloaded on here. Uh, this radio does support steering wheel controls. Uh, clearly, I don't have any of those. Um, I already know what this program is, too. I really like it. So the way it would work is you would hit, like, you know, what do you want to be volume down? Hold that, and then you'd click the correspond corresponding button on your wheel, and it just programs it like that. So... But I'm wondering if this has, like, something preloaded on here. Kind of hope it does. 
So I guess this is something I'll have to test off camera or I can just load up a YouTube video real quick. Let's see. Video is up about halfway. Oh wait, I don't have a fucking internet on here. All right, give me a second to set up something so I could play some audio for you guys and give you guys a good test. So I'll be right back in just a second. All right guys, so I got a song saying, you know, shout out uh, Dank Pods for showing Scarlet Flyer, probably his greatest test bench song. So we got the volume down pretty low. Wow, that gets really, really loud. So, a comfortable listening volume is right about here at a quarter. I hit back. So, yeah, just quarter volume is a great listening volume. Um, so, everything works correctly. Uh, I believe the, may be hard to see, but the lights do come on, so you can see, uh, USB does work. I just tested that. That's how I transfer the file over. Um, so all in all, working great. I'm going to hook up the rest of everything else. I did tried the Wi-Fi antenna, but uh, it was loading too slow. I don't have very good reception right here. So I'm going to put the brackets on, get the rest of the wires ran through the back how I want. Uh, probably do USB ports in the glove box if I can. Uh, maybe try to get one to stick out here. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but yeah, get the wires ran, get this tucked up away, um, and then wrap up the install, show you how the fit and finish is in the end, and, you know, hope it looks real good in there, and then give it a test. I'll test out the GPS and everything, so see you guys in just a second. I'm getting real excited. Okay, so I got all the wiring in, and actually, there's a small little hole down there. It's very hard to see, but if you reach down here, all the way in the back, you'll feel there's a small slot. And I stuck the connector through, so I have the USBs running right out here to the front. Uh, so that's very convenient. Uh, but there is one problem with this radio. As you'll see, I have the little front face plate on. Uh, that's due to the fact that I guess this is slightly bigger than a standard double din. So like your Metra dash install kit, uh, you're supposed to slot the radio in through the front, like most every head unit. Uh, and I'm assuming it's supposed to sit pretty flush and then the screws, you know, line up to the side. Uh, this does not fit, Ooh, let's stick the front faceplate on, you'll see why I have this on too. So what you do is you slot this on and just push it up as flush against here as you can, you'll see there'll be a lip, but it's a little hard to see, all the holes line up, so I believe they knew that this wasn't like a standard doubled in size, so it'll still install. It's just instead of the screen and buttons, I don't know if you can see because it's a little bright out. Instead of the screen and buttons being like flush, they'll be just recessed a little bit, which to me isn't a problem. They're still very easy to access. I still have full access to the whole screen and everything. So it's just something to keep in mind if you do want to get this radio. Uh, still something I highly suggest. It's not like it's a deal breaker. It might be for some. Maybe somebody really doesn't like that stepped look. Who knows, but when you're driving a 1998 Honda Accord, you probably shouldn't be too picky anyways. Uh, you know, this is already nicer than probably the rest of the car. At least in my case it is. The car is pretty standard. This is a pretty nice radio. So I'm going to carry on with the install. So far it's gone pretty smooth. Everything's worked. Uh, the antenna did fit, actually. It, I guess the opening just looks a lot bigger than the actual uh, port. So antenna fits, works great. So... Um, I'm going to get everything hooked up, get the AC going, because somehow in Arizona it can be almost December and still be pretty warm out. My phone has been getting super hot during this install, and I just had the sun beating down right here. So I want to hurry up and get this done, ready to go eat. My sister wants me to go take her to get some food anyways. So I'm going to wrap this up and show you guys the final install and, you know, how everything looks. So see you guys in just a second with that. So I have everything just about together. Um, there's one thing stopping it from fitting perfectly for me, and that's the fact that somebody has been in here and they took all the screws. So I have none of the screws on the bottom and the screw that goes back here, uh, gone. So if I like push the top up, the bottom doesn't quite fit. And then if I pop the bottom into place, the top comes undone. So I just got to go get screws so that I can actually screw the panel in properly. 
Um, otherwise, it looks great, uh, but you notice I don't have my clock in. Uh, we lost a good one today. The uh, clock and hazard button, the casing uh, cracked. It was pushed in place. I popped it out so I could put this panel on, and the, these two pieces just couldn't hold on no more. So I guess next time I'm at the pick and pull yard, I'm going to have to grab me new clock and hazard button, like surround at least. Let's see if I can pull these wires back through. Get that plugged in. And where's the connector for... Get this plugged in. Oh man, it just looks so ugly now. I'm sure it won't click into place completely correct. Ah oh man. Not my Honda. But, fire this car up, make sure, yep, AC, all the controls still work. Everything still works, buttons are easily accessible, touch screen, this works great. So I'm going to go grab some food, plug my phone in because it's almost dead, and then I'll give you guys a price breakdown on how much this cost me. Uh, sorry if you can't hear over the radio. But yeah, I'll let you know how much this all cost me in total. So I'll see you guys in a minute just after lunchtime. All right, guys, I just wanted to wrap up the video here. Went and got me a drink, didn't really have lunch. I wasn't too hungry. Um, but I did add up all the totals, the exact dollar amount I paid for this radio, the install kit, the wiring, uh, and the door speakers, which sound pretty good. They're not perfect. Um, they like bass a little bit, which makes sense. Um, I can add a sub and an amp to here and, you know, upscale it a little bit. Uh, I could add extra tweeters. This has room to expand. Uh, $244.01. That is for taxes and shipping and everything included, even though I think I got free shipping on everything. Um, that, for how it sounds and the features I get, is a killer deal. Normally on these really cheap head units... Um, that I've seen before is they're usually like really unresponsive or they just they don't work too well they just suck you know I've seen where people will scroll and then like it takes a second the screen responds but this is you know uh, just like that hiccup in the beginning this works pretty well you know I hit a button and goes to the home menu nothing it works as it should you know this isn't astounding that's not a feature that it works uh, it's just the fact that at $136, this head unit functions properly instead of most of the cheap ones where you read the reviews and all people say is you get what you pay for. You know, you buy an $80 touchscreen unit, you swipe over, two seconds later the screen actually responds. So it is by far my favorite head unit, even better than the one I have on my Mazda, which I really like that one because it was pre, oh, you can see me. It was pre-wired and had the mounting kit and everything. Like, it didn't require me to buy anything else. That came in just under 300 So I think it was like 20 30 bucks more than this. Um, this does have the same problem, I think, like, every head unit I get has. And that's things like maps just don't work. I don't know. I don't have the GPS antenna mounted. Oh, am I not going here? No. I don't have the GPS antenna mounted up on my windshield. But this like never works even a little bit like i don't have my wi-fi antenna mounted up out here either but if i go to something that requires internet i think i have to update youtube it'll load it's just a little slower because it's like you know the antenna's packed behind everything um yeah it's it's just really slow so i gotta move the antenna outwards on the mazda its internet isn't this slow but i do have its antenna in the glove box or this one it's directly behind the radio so you know, but I was able to load up some YouTube earlier. That's why it's updated now. I had to go and update it and download the update and all that. And I logged on to my Google account and all that stuff. But I'm not too concerned about the maps and everything. Because once I go to CarLink or, you know, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Once I go to these things, I do have maps from within there. So, yeah. Let's say I want to go to McDonald's, whatever. I can just click here. 
So I have maps within, you know, Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay. So I'm not too concerned about having the standalone map, I guess you could say, working. I can crack in and fix it later. It's not like it's hard to take this panel off. It has no screws. I found one, which is cool, so I can just go get more of these and then screw this panel in. And next time I'm at the pick and pull yard, I got a couple things to grab. And now I got a, one more thing to add to it. So got to get some radio, door handles. I got a gray one over here stock tan one over there because the tan one broke so you got to get the rear door handle things so the rear door is open you know just it's it's an old car still has its old car problem so i just want to say thank you guys for watching my video i hope you enjoyed your time uh i definitely enjoyed making it feels good to make videos that you know don't hit the fan like pretty much every dart video where something just goes wrong and i gotta sit there and fix it and i usually only have one day this, I got to take my time on. I did the wiring. This is honestly the best wiring I've done on a radio. I get better at it every time, but, you know, this is the most neat, I should say. All of them are done well, just not as neat. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.